Hello. I'm a little bit concerned because, you know, when you get problems with people and you there's something happening so you have to go in court with them you know that and then you have to defend yourself in a court with a church and that is very much a learning experience. Suddenly, you find out that everything you see on television cannot be used in the court of love. And that is a little bit amusing. Because everybody is watching television and is believing on what they say in the television. But if you end up in a court and you shall defend yourself, suddenly it's not an evidence to defend your ass. And maybe you cannot even use it as evidence in a court. Because the court will not allow maybe that kind of proof. It's asking for facts. Facts in a way that is maybe difficult for normal people to get in touch with like documents, documents that's writing from governments. So of course, as the person you are, you have to get your evidence in another way. And then you find out that the evidence you have get cannot be used in the court of love. And that made me think very much over how much bullshit we see in a media license stream to everybody's ears. We don't have like a channel, a channel They're showing television exactly just like in the court of law. They should make a channel where they are representing it as it as news in the court of law. Why is that? Because when you then see the news. <clears throat> You know, it's facts. Facts that could be used in the court of law. And if you first can use it in the court, you know it's bulletproof news that you're sitting and watching. And not just the entertainment. And I think we should have a line in television A line in television, <clears throat> a line in television where we can have bulletproof news, not just a deadline, 
but a bulletproof news that could even be used in the court of law. Then we can just have a deadline where we know that the news we are watching is not bulletproof news, but a deadline from the news channel. I find it very sad that it have been like that. But it is like that. I make my own experience. When I should go in court. That should when like when you go into a food store they're standing on it eco or they're standing uh green or not toxic or you know they're standing all this confirmed marked from firms. We should have a little bit more like that in television when it has something to do about news. Even so, we know who they have confirmed it. But can you not just see, you have a judge sitting and judging the news about it's news that could be used in a court. Not just the news from a deadline. You, you always hear this, that the journalist is always double checking, you know. They shall be sure because they, before they can post it uh, on the channel so everybody can see it. But see, that's not enough if you go in court. And, and that's so bullshit, you know? It's not enough. And that's just so fucked up. Because even you have some journalists who have made their work. And it's not bulletproof news if you did take it into the court. I don't know how many out there that's aware over that. Maybe you have tried to been in court. Maybe you have a conversation you have recorded or a conversation you have recorded or things like that. But maybe they should make like a, a red spot on all the pictures or all the what they're representing in deadline, that it's like bulletproof uh, uh, news that could be taken into court if something like that happened. Just like when you go to the grocery and buy a co. Then now there's a red spot on all the pictures that's confirmed in such a way so you could even use it in a court. Why does we not demand that on television, on the newspaper, on every news that they are feeding us with? Because that is so important as when you go down in the grocery and buying your food. Because this can take you to the vote in the end. Maybe. So I think it's very much... Uh, important things that we have somebody behind that judging about is bulletproof even in a court. Thanks.